welcome back to Hi Mama's online content hub. My name is Kaya and I'm an early childhood educator here at Hi Mama headquarters. So for today's activity, we are going to be doing a salt tray writing activity. Should have all these materials around your house, so no need to go out to the store for these. Um, this is really going to help your children practice their fine motor skills and their letter recognition. So this activity is great for preschoolers or even for kindergartners, first graders who are still practicing their writing or maybe spelling of words and um, counting numbers. So for this activity, you're going to need a baking tray. You can use a roasting pan too. It has higher sides or you can use a uh, like a Tupperware container, something that is able to contain some sort of material like sugar or salt or sand. Um, I've also added a uh, construction colored construction paper at the bottom. So as the children are practicing their writing, they can uncover different colors or maybe even a message you've written at the bottom. So I'm just going to place that in my container here. You're also going to need some index cards or sticky notes, something to write the letters or words or numbers on. So I'm just using blank index cards here and some markers to write it on, or you can use a pen. And you're also going to need some sort of medium. So this means salt, sugar, sand, soil, whatever you have lying around, something that the children can use their fingers to manipulate and move around with. Um, it's a really cool sensor activity and um, We'll, we'll keep your children busy for hours. So let's hop into it. So um, I have my tray here. I have the paper at the bottom. If you want to add a little surprise element for the kiddos. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we are going to pour our medium into this pan here. You want to just do a light layer just so it covers everything. If you add too much of your medium, you won't be, the children won't be able to use their fingers to move it around as much. So Pour all that in, and then you're going to spread it around. So nice thin layer. Make sure we cover up the construction paper, leaving the element of surprise. Cool. Now that I have all of that in there, we are going to use our post-it notes or our cardstock, and we're going to write the letters on them. So I've got a couple examples here. I started with really easy basic letters that children can write if your child is just starting to learn handwriting at home. Letters like L, F, and E, those ones are really simple because they just use straight lines. But if you want to challenge your child or your child's already, you know, past those easy letters or numbers, you can um, write more difficult ones like the B's with the curves, the Q's, the K's with the diagonals. So just write them out onto the index card. Make sure they're nice and big as well. And then all you're going to do is take the letter. You can stick it up at the top here. And if your child is on this side here, they can take their finger and their pointer finger and they can practice making this letter in the tray. And it does take a few times to go over to actually have the letter and the line created. So this is really, really good practice for the children to really understand how the letters are made. Well, I've got my letter K here and I can already start to see the rainbow. It looks really cool. And if your child messed up or they wanna do a new letter or number, they can just take their hand and erase it. That's always the really fun part. Cool. So hopefully this will keep them busy for a while. Um, you can even do this like in, in a bathtub if you really wanna go crazy with it and, um, and have a lot of space, so. Hopefully your children enjoy it as well. Let us know what you think about this activity and any content you'd like to see. Thank you everyone so much for joining us today. I hope you have a great day. Bye.